what's up guys what is going on tom cook what's going on baby guess where i am going i'm actually almost here um school training school school to school all right guys a lot of people ask me damn you still in school no let me explain something to you the ones that don't understand from time to time automotive technicians that's employed by a dealership have to frequent not a lot but they have to go to training okay guys nothing is set in stone it's like doctors they're never done learning about illness because illness compound illness pop up all the time and doctors need to stay afloat of all this stuff the new illness or the new sickness we got a new pandemic out now <laughs> doctors need to know this stuff so it's a never ending situation guys uh, the automotive industry is no different. Cars, if you work on cars, you have to constantly be trained, especially on the newer stuff that come out. So my point is, yes, from time to time, I have to go to school. A dealership will sign me up, or in some cases, FCA would do it on their own. They would sign me up uh, for courses. And I have no problem with that, even though the school is an hour away from me, guys. I consider this... <laughs> A mini vacation. Yes, I am going to go to lunch. I'm going to sit down. I haven't had a sit down lunch in so long. Now, the place I used to go to eat lunch was Golden Corral. I don't think they open anymore. So I'm going to go and sit down and enjoy my mini two day school vacation. No, I'm not going to stay out here. A lot of guys, they sign, sign up for school. And because they're so far away from the school, they will simply get a hotel room out here for one day. If it's a two day course, and they'll stay there and just be back at school the next morning and then travel all the way back home. No, 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 no. I'm going to go back home because I have to get on my computer and edit more videos for you guys, okay? I'm trying to maintain my streak, guys, and this is easy. At one point, I was trying to maintain a streak of upload two or three a day, but one a day is so easy to do, okay, to me, to me. Only because, guys, don't get me wrong, guys, and I know it may sound like I'm bragging, but don't get me wrong. Because I am fluent at editing, that makes this whole thing easier. And I'm fluent with putting myself in a situation where I can capture a 10-minute long video, a topic. It's all about capturing a topic. If I see a cop outside with a bent wheel, I can create a whole 10-minute topic around that bent wheel as far as what happened, why it happened. And I can film it, and I can edit up and chop it up and add in things to make the video interesting to become an uploaded video. Guys, I'm not going to upload you any junk. I'm not going to waste you guys' time, okay? Your time is valuable. My time is valuable. Nobody wants to sit down and watch a 8 to 10 minute garbage piece of junk video, okay? I'm going to make sure you get something out of each video, all right? Now, but yes, because editing is semi -e I'm a videographer, okay? So, yes, that makes my life so much easier. A lot of guys a good communicator as far as camera you can put the camera in front of them they can go just fluent just go but when they get home the techie side it's a tech side to it and it's a mechanical side to it and you got to know what you're talking about it's, that already has to be in your head or you'll be end up you know reading teleprompters and things like that so i got to the point where i just go off the cuff it's going to come out the way it's going to come out if it sounds unprofessional you guys know me by now <laughs> Every now and then, my English may be broken. Every now and then, I may say something crazy. And I'm glad I got a supporting cast that will remind me what I said, if it's wrong, that it was wrong. I have no problem with that. But the techie side of the video operation is fairly easy. I load it in. I record it. I load it in. I chop it up. I edit. I get out all the garbage, the things you don't need to see. And guys, there's a lot. One day, I'm going to compile a blooper reel <laughs> you guys will have a oh my god man i'll I be filming i mess up i drop the phone oh shh, be cussing all kinds of crazy just a blooper reel that you will not see until uh i'm in one of those moves to make one i see people doing it all the time it's kind of actually kind of funny but yes uh tom I'm in school school what i'm in school for scope the use of a oscilloscope I want to say, okay, yes, yeah, scope's been around for years, but this is a new handheld scope. FCA have dubbed every dealership a must-have. 
okay? It is called an essential tool, meaning you have to have it, okay, in order to proper, properly diagnose the newer stuff that's out. You have to have this tool, okay? Now, who FCA think they are to make us buy, uh, to make us have to force us to buy special tools that cost that much money? And I'm sure it's expensive, guys. I'm almost certain that it's expensive. It has to be. I know it is. It has to be, guys. I can almost guarantee you it is. Uh, because uh, they deemed it necessary. It's important. Or it's essential. Okay, I'm here a little early. I don't know how that happened. I thought I was late. I come flying out. Of oh, my God. I don't want to be late. The COVID thing. They're going to send me an email. They're going to make me verify or say. I don't know how you verify this stuff. But they, I heard they're going to send me an email and uh, ask me, was you sick the last two days? Things that's leading up to if you if you have you been contact or been around anybody with with COVID, uh, you know, and so I need to answer that. So I'm gonna sit down and pull up my email now. The class started it opened at 8:30. I think they start around nine. But guys, I plan on enjoying these next two days. I'm gonna keep y'all in the loop as far as what the, the topic about. Like I say, it's a scope machine, a scan tool, basically. Now, what do you use that for? I mean, a scope can be, that's many benefits of having a scope. But I'm going to tell you something, man, to these uh, commission mechanics. Anything that's going to slow them down, they're not down with it. I mean, even if it'll help you diagnose car right, if it's there, there's any hint that it will slow you down, uh, a lot of guys are not interested. Okay, let me take this off. So, I don't know how that's going to work, man. Uh, how are you going to deal with that? Let me see. Can y'all see that? Yes, I'm here, guys. I just pulled up. Y'all see the Chrysler Training Center. In fact, some of the teachers, one of the teachers are out there. So, no sense of me getting out if the teacher's standing out there. Right? Yes, I am way in Kennesaw, Marietta, maybe. Uh, Y'all see that sign, Chrysler Training Center. Looks like they ain't starting to go in. I'm going to get ready to head on in here. Like I say, uh, throughout the day, I'm going to be uploading... Uh, talking videos uh, on my trip to school and from school so I'm sure I will have a lot to I'm trying to dodge the sun I'm sure I will have a lot to talk about on the way to school and on the way from school in fact I'm gonna go to my some of the videos and speak on some of the questions that I have been asked or comments that I haven't had time to comment on that one video about the oil pan I put up that's a lot of comments on there I haven't had time to and there's a couple of other videos I recently uploaded. I just haven't had time to go to them. Typically, I do them throughout the day, but because yesterday I was trying to prepare for today, I had no time to even whip out my phone and do what it is that I do. Okay, guys, so let me go on in here, man. Uh, it's 8.30. I'm going to go on in here. Guys, stay tuned. I'm going to let y'all know what's going on in this Chrysler Training Center. All right, stay tuned. I'll be right back. I got my ASC jacket on i don't want to wear my youtube uh my youtube patch which i used to do because they they ask too much questions you know i don't want everybody in my business these are techs these are techs and engineers so there's nothing they can learn from little old jt so i don't want them knowing you know that ain't none of their business all right so i wore my asc dealership jacket today all right i gotta go guys stay tuned